Welcome back to Satisfactory. And I have a bit of a problem. A scaling problem, that is. I need to sort out my steel setup because today we're going to have to get monorails. And to get to monorails, we need, um, well, computers, as you can see at the top right. We need heavy modular frames and we need motors. Unfortunately, the last two of those, the heavy modular frames and the motors, they both need steel. Um, the heavy modular frames need steel pipes and the motors need steel pipes and... Well, that's my steel pipeline. <laughs> Just to be clear. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Okay, so we're going to have to fix that. So before I fix it, uh, I just want to put in the computers because computers, they're a bit constrained on copper and that's an easy one. I just build a couple more copper things, a couple wire manufacturers. But the other two, they're, they're pretty dire. Let's look at how many motors we've got. Even at full speed, this thing will only produce uh, 200 motors in about... I don't know, 40 minutes, I think. I think it's like five per minute. So, you know, 20 in four minutes, uh, you know, 240 minutes. Yeah, that is right. So uh, we can uh, scale that up, but at the moment it's not even producing that because, well, yeah, steel pipes and the modular frames factory is off. So we've got to fix that. So let's just dump in what we can. They're leaving me with one motor, but uh, yeah, we need 150 motors, we need 50 heavy modular frames, which means we need steel pipes. So let's take a, take a look upstairs. I've already cleared out the steel beams um, sort of setup from here with the box, because we're going to make room for a factory building here, just like that one. Um, so what do we have coming out of here? Here we have our factory that produces heavy modular frames. It's off because, well, one, I've turned it off, uh, and I've probably removed its power pole i have removed its power pole which is fine regardless because it wasn't producing any anyway i disconnected the steel pipes to make sure most of it was going down towards to make motors that's not going to help us see right here it's disconnected so first thing i'm going to do is just take out um i want to ideally change this i would like to send let's, let's just remove this See why in a second. I just basically need this to come in on the ground level because I need to be able to turn this much sooner. So let's just turn this around here. Okay, and let's replan this section. I just want it to go, uh, let's say, here. There we go. And we're going to go to about, oh, about here. Get that lined up right. And there we go. There we go. That's all level three belt, but we should probably move to level four now that we are dependent upon encased beams. However, the encased beams, uh, are they just being stacked up into here? They are, and I don't have that many because that's probably also waiting on um, <laughs> on, uh, on things I don't have yet. Uh, where's my encased beams? You are producing? Yes. It's just not piled up yet. Fine. So, that gives me a little bit of extra space just right here to be able to plan out a building. So, if we just do that, uh, I should be able to set the building fairly well. And let's just set it up as a 3x3 three three and let's hope... Oh, no. In fact, I even have... I've set it up as a 3x4. No, that's fine. Yeah, plenty of space. And here's the base sort of level of the building. As before, we're going to set this up as a stackable design. So we're definitely going to take this guy out. And that is, quite handily, my steel ingot input. So we can probably get that nice and sorted. Um, do we want to just use this one? Yeah, why don't we? I was considering to move to the paintable structures, but, um, you know, why don't we just move to those? I can actually paint them. Yeah. Why don't we just do that? Uh, I want the regular wall seven i want the um uh, two wall conveyor times two five okay and let's just set those up as well let's see how they actually look um let's just use this control mass dismantle i do like using this mode when i remember to actually use it thank you very much to the people who remind me and uh yeah uh well can i wait a second oh i have to hold it do there we go I have to hold it and remember how to use the thing. One second. 
as I was saying, <laughs> uh, we'll just have the walls. The only problem with this is you can't really tell as easily the inside versus the outside. Um, so I think the, the dotted side is the outside, is it not? Uh, let me just check with the other wall. We can easily tell. Wall. So if I move my mouse left, yeah, you see, that's the outside. So in this case, in this other wall type, if I move it left, that's the outside. So it's the dots that are the outside. Okay. Slightly annoying, but hey, I can I can live with it. And there we go. Okay. Okay. Yep. And that's going to look mm, pretty okay, I think. And then we'll just have our usual sort of setup here uh, where I get this pointing onto the inside. There we go. And then we can. Oh, did I remove that? I think I. I think I accidentally mass dismantled it. Whoops. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm going to need to put that back in place. Bear with me. I'll do that off camera. Since I could, I also lined it up with the opening, and uh, yeah, that's clearly why I dismantled it, um, honestly. And then we've got our input to our building, which will then become stackable. So here is where we're going to be producing pipes. Um, now, I have removed steel beams, but thinking about it, we're still not producing encased beams very fast. Um, so I may have to resurrect the steel beam factory. Regardless, that's probably going to have to be a separate building somewhere. But for now, uh, we definitely just want steel pipes. Assuming that I have enough uh, beams, I have, I can always make beams in my inventory if I run out. And uh, we're going to basically be replacing this thing. So it is just a steel ingot to steel pipe production. Nothing excessive there, and it is just a constructor. So let's just get a couple of those. Production constructor. And we're going to need at least three, if not four, which means I'm going to need a couple of floors of these. And this just needs a reinforced iron. And again, as normal with this kind of thing, I'm just going to place that as close as I can to the wall, I think. Oh, no, wait. I want it closest. I want it close as I can to the middle. Yes, because I can't get it to the... Um, well, you'll see in a second. <laughs> okay. Let's just get it here. Like that. Like that. Taking you down. Okay. Close as I can to the middle because I can't connect and splitters and mergers to this. Remember, you get a problem if you get too close. The only solution I've found is to get them away of, as far as I as far as I know. Anyone who knows different can let me know. And then we'll just put in our usual kind of splitters. Um, we are just going to split this way. Okay, and line that up with the input. There we go. Uh, that's going to have problems with me putting a wall in afterwards. So let me put the wall in now and then I don't have to worry about it. Walls. Uh, I wish it wouldn't do that, by the way. Uh, I wish it would be consistent as far as if I can put this wall up later, I should be able to put the wall up when I start in the first place. And um, that's some light on both sides. I wish it actually, I wish it actually had some kind of light. Uh, anyway, different, uh, different point. There we go. Splitter, splitter, and there we go. Okay, so let's just feed those in. And there's my ingots. Uh, I'm going to go this side as well. Yes, I may have to uh, reconsider where, <laughs> where that door is. Don't worry. It's blocked, but hey, uh, we can always put it somewhere else. And that's everything connected. So I just need to connect here. Say I want steel pipes. Steel pipes again. And I just need to get the output. Now, you've seen me do the outputs before, so um, all that you need to be concerned about is that I'm going to feed out this way. And I'm going to also feed in from upstairs this way. So we'll just have it like uh, this. And like this. Okay. I'll do the rest off camera. But that's one floor done. I'm going to need two floors in order for this to work. But these are really, really, really compact. If we just have a look at the, the, the height of this thing... Um, Yep, it's that side. I'm not sure I... Well, I may need another floor, but... Let's just have a look. Does that actually go through that... Um, does it go through that uh, sort of red light thing? That's at three. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we will need... We will need that level. 
But other than that, we can then build another floor. But for now, I'm going to connect this up so that we have the ability just to take out that and reconnect the output of these to wherever that's going. Uh, that line in particular there. And we can cut off most of it and then just put this line. You see where that uh, splitter is right there? We can send it out there to that splitter. And here our second floor is now complete. Identical to the first except for these running the opposite way effectively and that makes it essentially nice and stackable. You see at the back there we have steel pipes going out and we got occasional steel ingots coming in. That's the main problem. I need to just add another floor to the steel factory or rather we may need to look at coal. If you have a look at that, that is that, that is all we're getting from the coal line and that's not full. And the outcoming, well, the outcoming is even less, but I did already add another floor into there. In fact, you can see there's another there's a couple of floors. So what are we actually waiting for here? Are we at capacity? Oh, and the other thing I've got to complain about, <laughs> I also want to complain about something. These don't fit. If I, if I, if I, I've, I've got to basically move everything one across. Will, will that let me move one across? Will that let me actually fit this properly rather than having them off offset? Could be my own error. Usually is um, organization, organization. Uh, what we're crossing? Can I actually fit these? I mean, will it let me attach to anything? Well, it let me attach to there. Can I attach to this? That's just too high. Yeah, it'll only attach to the the level areas. Um, I'm just gonna move that. Okay. How about I attach to this? How about I attach to this side? Organization. What we're crossing. See? That that isn't connected. <laughs> oh, there we are. There we are. Wait a second. Yeah. Will you now actually connect properly to the building without me having to Oh, that's much nicer. Okay. I uh, I stand corrected. They do fit quite well. <laughs> it's just me. Weird that there is holes. Maybe that's just for feeding through power lines. Interesting. Um I wonder if you can actually get them connected properly. Yeah, um, we almost want a different kind of connector for that kind of thing, just to go straight down rather than trying to fit in. That's that's another thing I have in general. These walls, um, you could technically use something like this to try and feed a power pole through, but I really would prefer some kind of connector so I don't have to do this. Um, yeah, you know, some kind of out, outside connector and inside connector, just like um, Fallout 4, perhaps, something like that. Uh, although I don't need the whole building, I, I don't mind the complexity of having to route power cables inside. Just a nicer way rather than actually having a physical hole through a wall. But hey, that's just me and being a, a little bit, uh, a little bit opinionated, <laughs> as usual. So here's our steel pipe, and it's coming into uh, here, which is feeding down, and that is more than enough capacity for that. Which means I should now be able to reconnect this, and that should go. Now, I've now got four constructors running and is this now defunct um that's steel uh did i disconnect this somehow i did didn't i yes which is probably why i'm not getting steel beams yes it's exactly why i'm not getting steel beams because this thing is not connected so let's let's whoops let's reconnect this up and is this going to do okay where it is? I think it is. Um, we probably want to move it later into its own building, but uh, we're going to need lots of steel beams. But for now... And if I just move this, we'll just have a pillar closer. And I can walk underneath this thing. There we go. Okay, so that's re-enabled, which starts the steel back up, although there's not a lot of steel. Let's go and take a look at what's holding up the steel. Here is our coal input. Where is uh, my iron input to this building? Um, am I missing it? It's got to be here somewhere. That's our iron ore. Oh, it's already inside, isn't it? The building's built on top of it. <laughs> okay. That's just me. Uh, is this an L Mark 1 or Mark 2? I'm going to move this wall. You are a Mark 1 miner. Yes. So we can obviously upgrade that to Mark II, but this line isn't running at full speed anyway, so that indicates that it's the actual floors at fault, in that we don't have enough of them for our, our miner, even if we have built this up into a Mark II miner. What do we need for Mark II miner? Uh, a <laughs> pipe. <laughs> uh, but I have nearly everything else, so that's fine. 
Why don't I just go upstairs, and now that I've built this, I may as well actually uh, extend this and then head inside, and we'll just make sure that everything's connected up. And if so, uh, well, we'll just add another floor. So here's our first foundry on our first actual manufacturing floor, and you can see, yes, we're keeping ahead of the cold for this one, but only just, and uh, there are situations when, yeah, for instance, this is just not working. And uh, you can see that belt is empty, which means the next floor up, which I haven't even built a, a sort of <laughs> platform to yet, is just not going to work. So it's the coal, which is okay. The coal's easier to scale. Well, <laughs> less troubling for me to scale than I just keep on building up there. This building looks so tall, it's just really... It's just a two-story building, just like this, except that each story, because of the foundries, has to be one higher, and it's just got two things stacked up. So, yeah, we need to go and investigate. How am I getting coal here? I'm probably getting coal... Uh, let's just, before I go up there, uh, do I have copper to make stuff? I do have copper to make stuff. Good. Because I suspect it's just that I'm using, like, a mine of a Mark 1. And you see this belt here is all level 3 belt, which means I don't need any more of it. I may actually run out halfway up. That may be also the problem. <laughs> uh, which means I'm going to need more steel beams. But uh, let's just see. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you see, there it is. It's all Mark 1 belt from this point onwards. So I'm going to need to make more steel beams. And I need a lot more of it. But before we actually do that, what I'm going to do at the top end is I'm going to replace that with a minor Mark 2. And... Wait a second. Why would I just leave one section out? Did I really just run completely out of steel there? Okay, I'm just going to check the rest of the line. If that's only that one section, I may even be able to solve it. Uh, do I have enough steel? No. I'll go and rob some more steel and make some more steel beams, it seems. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, no. It, it was. It wasn't just that one section. So clearly I'm going to need more steel beams. And uh, that's a good point, considering I actually uh, sort of removed that, uh, thinking that I can move to enc enclosed beams. Yeah, here it is. So this is a minor mark one. Let's get rid of you. Uh, we need... Uh, well, let's just see. Hopefully it'll reattach again. I had so much trouble actually getting this, these to attach in the first place. Uh, come on. Find, find, come on, find the spot. That's the usual problem. It will lock in at some point and I will get it back connected. After a bit of fiddling around, that's now actually connected with a minor Mark II. I had to make some steel pipe, but other than that, we're fine. There it is. So, from here, uh, I'm going to try just using up the uh, steel beams, uh, the encased uh, version that I have, just to get a uh, conveyor belt Mark IV. This is my first use of conveyor belt Mark IV. Um, what do you look like? Oh, that looks quite nice. I do like that effect. Uh, it's obviously going to be constrained by whatever's after it, but other than that... It's fine. I'm going to upgrade you. Okay, so we're going to work on getting this conveyor belt Mark IV as far down here as I can. It's probably not going to reach all the way to where I need it, but uh, we'll have to make a little bit more to get that to work. There we go. Mark IV, Mark IV. It's sort of therapeutic doing this. Uh, and, uh, yeah, am I odd? Yeah. Maybe a little bit. And we're just going to skip the final bit here. Just move down and get to that section where it's level 1. And then that can be replaced with Mark IV. Cool. So everything is now, or should be, Mark III all the way along or higher, which is, you know, where it gets constrained. So um, let me just use up the rest of these and let's see how far down I can get this. Uh, not very far <laughs> at this rate. Uh, that'll be another section. Okay, Mark IV to there. And yeah, I'm out. So that's up to this point. It's going to be Mark IV and then Mark III for the rest of the way, pretty much. So, but you can see the belt now. That's much, much better. And am I Mark III all the way? Looks like I am. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, back across to the seal factory. And look at that wonderful black gold coming in. Yep, it is uh, coming in and it should now be nicely piling up. So these should be running at full speed, which means the next floor up should also be running at full speed. And at some point, we're actually going to run out of iron ore, which means I'm going to need to get that, that uh, thing downstairs uh, turned into a minor Mark II as well. But you can see right here, we're still not at full speed, which is good, which means I have at least one more floor available should I need it. So I'm going to see what the end effect of that is going to be on our output line. He's, oh, that's level one. No. Why? Uh, I'll replace that with the, the Mark III that I saved. Uh, there we go. 
Okay. And let me just, just double check outside to make sure that lift isn't a Mark 1 as well. Ah! Lift isn't a Mark 1? No, it is not. Okay, fine. So that will run at full speed, and you can see I've got a few more uh, a few more steel coming out. Uh, there's obviously much more room to add extra floors in there, but um, that's looking pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. As you can see, up at the top right of the screen, I'm at 168 motors. So, yep, yeah, by fixing the, the steel first, and there we go, another 47. 47? I really couldn't get 50 out of here. Why? <laughs> and this is just running at full speed as well. No, I think I'm out of circuits. Well... Maybe. No, it's, this is slow enough anyway that the circuits isn't going to be a major issue. I maybe wait down here off camera until I get a couple more just so that I don't have to run back again. But yeah, 50 computers are now done, which means I can now turn on the modular heavy frame factory and get that going. And looking at the heavy modular frames, you can see we consume 9.3 per minute. And this single lone factory out here, this little setup, is only producing four per minute. So we need three of these at least to keep up with the heavy modular frames. I'm not that concerned about keeping up with the heavy modular frames at the moment. It's fine because it's going to be producing in the background, ready for next episode. Well, we will get onto trains, I promise. Um, so yes, uh, this is going to work as it is. Um, how many of these? This is 10 per minute steel beams. How many are consuming? 16 per minute. So even this is constrained by this. So yeah, we're probably going to want another another building aren't we for steel beams uh, at some point i'm getting constrained for space <laughs> uh what i think i'm going to need to well not too bad because this platform isn't too bad um all we need to do is move this <coughs> excuse me move this existing machinery i have a concrete box here that can be moved and you can see that's still all level one belt all the way back from our original concrete building up there and then Probably we can move a steel beams into a building, which leaves this kind of setup outside for now, which I'm happy with. Yeah, so a building would need to be along the lines of that one. They're going to back here, which means I could feed in concrete into one side of it. Uh, where would its actual, where would its outline be if we cut, followed the the plan, which is keeping this uh, to be three by three? Line with the original. Okay. Like that. That's the corners. And this would be one of the other corners. Okay, so that's the kind of space I need space I need to clear out, which means it's this building that has to go, along with all the concrete stuff. The concrete has to be rerouted to the outside and then from there to everywhere else. So, yeah, um, I could probably do that. We probably have room to get that, that splitter going outside. Hmm, why don't we just take that out? You can go away, as can you, and all of this input concrete. Get rid of this nasty Mark 1 belt. <laughs> it's definitely not going to go through this building, so I'm happy. Again, I should use that mass, uh, mass mode, but uh, that's fine. It's all gone now anyway. And... We're just going to get rid of you, and you, and that is everything apart from this infrastructure, which is just the steel input to be turned into steel beams, uh, all sorted out. So we're just going to want a splitter here, I think, and then have that feeding outwards. Uh, that is the extent of our wall, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So we can just put the splitter right, right here, lined up with you. Is that enough space? I hope so. Let's try and connect it. Yep. That is the same amount of space that won't connect to those walls. Honestly. <laughs> Rant. <laughs> Rant over. I am looking forward to the, the, the new version that's coming out in January. Uh, apparently there's a lot of changes and I'm, I'm looking forward to see just how many changes there are. There we go. So that's level three belt up to here. And then again, we can just feed in uh, to this side, probably keep this as far apart from here as I can. So we're just going to go up one level. Like that. There we go. And I'll just connect it back to over here. There's no real point of that on camera. So, yep, let's cut forwards. There we are. The concrete's going out as before and it's been nicely split out around here. So that's nice, which leaves anything inside this building to be basically this. 
Uh, we'll probably have to move this again, probably across a little bit. You see, it's how it's can uh, canted off to one side. It's going to need to be here, so I'm going to have to readjust it earlier, but that's something I'll solve off camera. Uh, we are just going to basically remove all of this on the inside of what will be our building. And this is just a general constructor, so it's the same footprint as that building, basically. And let's just remove this. That will stop everything for the time being, but that's fine. I uh, don't mind temporarily pausing stuff. And there we go. We're going to have to remove these walls again, the, the four corner pieces, because we need to make this stackable. And then we can just fit them with these. And I have got this wrong before at least once. So let's just get the, the right side and the inside. There we go. And we're ready now for more constructors. So back we go to constructors. And everything should be nice and clean in here to, to basically get everything sorted. The input side is going to be this side. So again, close as we can to the middle. Give us more room. There we go. And we should have room for a power pole right there. Uh, we'll have to feed it in from somewhere, but, you know, I can readjust it from that pole later. In fact, it's 4x4, four four, so I need to get that from somewhere else. Uh, what I'm probably just going to do is just put a power pole here for now. That's not the right place. I need it to be maybe there. So that can connect to you. You can connect over there. And that'll do for now. And then the usual splitters, inputs and outputs. And we just need to choose beams this time. Okay. And I may even get some excess that I can use for more level 3 belts should I want to use that instead of level 4. I'm just going to skip the rest because I'm just going to do the splitters, mergers, the usual kind of stuff. And there we go, I may have run out of level 3 belt <laughs> halfway through, I had to use level 1 temporarily, but everything is now running again, I'm getting steel beams here, so I can just grab a few off the end just to finish this off, and then feed that into our case of industrial beams. So there we have a system floor, we can go up many more floors if we want to at this point, but uh, for the moment I'm only need just above two of these, so another floor will be fine as and when we add it, and for now, of course, I'm still constrained by steel, um, which should mean I just need to basically add another floor in here. Uh, are you feeding at full speed yet? You are. Oh, good. We're at full speed. So I need to basically make sure I have another uh, Mana Mark 2. Uh, what am I missing? <laughs> well, yes, I'm missing industrial beams, but the possible miner I should get back by deconstructing the Mana Mark 1. And I just need some cable, and I'm going to get one cable from this. So I need. Basically, just another, uh, oh, well, just another uh, one cable, and then I'm just going to need some bits and pieces. Probably it's just some, uh, was it steel pipe? Uh, production. Oh, industrial beams. That's fine. We should be able to grab those. Uh, just some cable, as usual. The only thing I actually manufacture myself is cable, uh, which means I should probably set up a factory for it, but it's just never that important, apart from manual sort of stuff. Uh, I'm just going to gr grab those two, and that should have restarted this factory to make them, but um, it's just slow. <laughs> yeah, it only makes four per minute. So, uh, do I have enough for the Mark II now? I do. One second to struck this. So, you are just getting temporarily disconnected. Okay, and uh, let's hope I can place this back down again. Because that's going down. Oh no. Uh, my inventory is full of something. Uh, plastics. Why am I carrying this many plastics? Okay. And all of you. Good. Mine mark two. Come on. Snap. Snap to place. Snap to place. <laughs> uh, it does eventually work. Honestly. You just have to get it in the right place. I decided in this case I'm going to take out the, the, the foundation sections inside the building. We've got it all the way around the outside. Uh, so corners. I really have problems with corners. Anyway, uh, I will just reconstruct this. Uh, can we even put a foundation back? I don't think we can. No. So that's going to have to be connected by some other means. I'm just going to go put this power pole here for a second. I'm going to put it down here and then we're going to connect through to you. Connect through to you. Okay, and then we're going to put the wall back in. Just basically because uh, that is going to work as is. There it goes. And uh, I would rather be able to connect this rather than have the problem of fishing around for ages. I tried for a couple of minutes, still couldn't get it connected. So yeah, at least this works and uh, I'm happy to hide it away. 
which is which is fine. <laughs> so up the wall goes, and we'll get that sorted. So walls, uh, we want the this wall, and there we go. So yeah, I don't have to worry about it anymore. And this is now constrained again by the level three belt. Although that uh, that will change pretty soon, I'm sure. So that's a level two miner, and everything is now running. Uh, I need to just grab my plastic back and um, fill in just what I can of uh, the mon monorail train technology. Let's see how much we've got so far. So I added all the supercomputers. I added all the, well, regular computers, I should say. I added all the motors, which just leaves the heavy modular frames, and that's now building. So it's just basically going to wait for the encased industrial beams. Now, I'm out of time for today's episode, but uh, we pretty much have all the infrastructure in place. This can be made a little bit faster, I suppose, if we're producing steel beams fast enough. Uh, that Miner Mark II uh, produces resources at 240 a minute and level 3 belt can deal at 270 a minute so I don't have to upgrade this to level 4 at all until uh, I could potentially get a Miner Mark III I suppose at, at some point but for the moment this is not actually constrained by the Miner Mark II it is constrained by clearly our floors up there because it's not running at full speed so this is running at full speed of our output because both the coal and the iron ore are both pausing occasionally so we are going to need another floor to basically increase our output off that ceiling goes and across this building and this is um sort of running into the uh the um well the bridge <laughs> i forgot that that rock bridge was even there um so yeah we may have to skip a floor <laughs> depending on what the con depending on what the collision is with that kind of thing we may have to just jump up and have like a, a floor going through uh, will this even go through? Um, how about there? Yeah, it seems to be fine. We can seem to be able to build right through rock bridges. Okay. <laughs> let's not even let's not even discuss that. Um, we'll just have to have a, a bridging uh, sort of elevator. It'll still work because it's stackable. It just means that, that first floor height will be a lot higher than normal. Back over here, our encased industrial beams are producing at four per minute, so that that is obviously is fine. We are getting enough resources in that that can be produced at that speed, but uh, we probably want at least double or triple that to, to you know keep this machine happy. But uh, for now, that's fine, I think. And let's just get the well, there's probably about three or four more. Yeah, there's three more in there. So I will leave it now for this uh, episode. We'll come back next episode just to basically start in on trains. Uh, and that should be a fairly simple unlock as soon as this arrives. What the trains actually need for construction? Well, I'm sure you can discuss that in the comments down below with everyone else. So if you have tips and tricks for the game, feel free to put them down below. Otherwise, click on the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the episode, uh, or at least if you've been interested in the episode. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. As always, guys, thanks for watching.